Alright, the ride home. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I kind of ran the battery down, so... <laughs> if it just stops in mid-sentence, just know it ran out of batteries. It, it is my fault that I, you know, listening to uh, YouTube videos all day. And so I'm actually working. I can't watch the YouTube videos. So if it's something that's really image heavy without a lot of dialogue, I have to, I have to stop watch, watching it. <laughs> I like to I like to listen to the videos with lots of dialogue. That way I don't actually have to look at it. Of course I miss some things. Sometimes there's like little cues and stuff. I miss that because I'm using my hands all day. So if it's not audible, I'm not watching it. Just uh, conversing with my my coworker about what the heck I'm going to talk about today, because I, I, I have kind of made a resolution to actually have something to talk about before I get started. And, uh, we were laughing about uh, the uh, the hostage situation in in uh, Georgia. And <laughs> he got into this really convoluted dialogue about. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna do a skit where the, the basically the the fire department comes in and you know to a guy's uh, house and he just happens to be cleaning his guns <laughs> and they get all. They get all terrified because he's got, oh my god, he's got a rifle, oh, what are we going to do? And they start bouncing off of each other like the Keystone Cops or something. And then, uh, you know, he's like, just get out! You know, there's no emergency! And, and they call in the SWAT teams and they go, oh no, we should put up a barricade! So they put up a barricade and got inside the guy's house, he just get out! <laughs> just get out of my house! And they're like, no, we got to call in... We have to we have to call in the SWAT. The SWAT comes in and they start uh, they start uh, doing a Dorner on his on his house and he's like, Dude, you guys are the pool, are the fire department. Why are you setting house fire to my house? Ah! <laughs> Just go completely bass backwards with it, you know. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna talk about that. So what am I going to do? I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. I'm, I'm kind of in a jovial mood at this point because you know, everything's just... Makes your eyes roll up in the back of your head. It just makes your eyes roll in the back of your head. And, you know, you're reading the, reading the article... Okay, I'm, I'm going to talk about this. <laughs> you're reading the article about the situation, you know, there's, there, was, there were five firefighters, but the guy let the, one of the firefighters go so he could move the fire truck. What? <laughs> the, the whole thing sounds fishy, and this is all on the same day that, the, the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the grand irrelevant party has decided that they're going to go along with the, um, what is it, reasonable gun regulation. What's reasonable about gun regulation. Uh, the, what part do you not understand? Do you politicians... No, wait. You guys clearly understand. But you don't care about the words shall not be infringed. Shall not be infringed. What are you doing? You're fringing. You bastard. You're doing it on purpose. You're provoking a civil war. When this thing goes down, remember who started it. It wasn't we the people. America, you've been set up. The trap is closed. You ain't getting out of this. You might as well just accept it and live, because this is death, this is, this is a waking death, this system they set up, we 
here all the walking dead today. I can't believe that. Governments always declare war on their citizens. This is historically infallible. Anyway, I don't know why I'm even going on about that because it's just, the point is moot. The point is moot. Nobody cares. Liberty dies not with a bang, but with a whimper. And even not even that. I mean, it seems like seems like everybody's like gloriously enraptured with the idea of uh, going into endless tyranny. I think that half the people are just ah, oh, just give me my things and my stuff. <laughs> just give me my things and my stuff. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, oh. It's very sick very sick. It makes me want to vomit. So what do you do? What do you do when you have your head screwed on right and you're in the midst of insanity? Go along with the insanity? Nay. I mean, when you've been looking at it this long, and you, and you can see the clear evidence that nobody around you is even, even paying any attention. And those that are paying attention are too busy slaving away, making those last few slave credits until it all boils over. Ah, uh, and, and it's not like I'm exempt from that statement. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just making those last couple slave credits until the, the whole bubble pops, and then what? And then what? What are you prepared to do at that point? Nothing will be safe. But you can't go starting the fight. So you're stuck in this incredible this, this creep of encroachment. That's really more like a you know a, a hyper speed pursuit of encroachment at this point. So what do you do? I mean, I'm I'm asking because I you know. People are all about solutions, but, you know, I mean, Chris Duane said, just walk away. Now, it's easier said than done, pal. You know, and, uh, Alex Jones is saying, can you get engaged in the info war? Yeah, it's an info war, but, you know, half, half of every, half the population doesn't have a clue, doesn't even care. When you bring it up, they just snicker and guffaw. What are you been eating? <laughs> and the other half are like, oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, but I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing it. I got kids. I got cars. I got I got my mortgage, I got this, I got that. None of it really matters. We got this delusion that we own this stuff. We don't own any of it. Any, any big ticket item, you can just pretty much guarantee the government's got a title on it. The banks own it all. When you think you own your real estate, right? No, just stop paying your taxes on the real estate and see how quickly you get tossed. What's the point? What's the point? Sound like that, you know, droid from the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. What's the point? At any rate, you know, my other car is a cruise ship. I'm, I'm sure it is. Royal Caribbean International. 
That's nice. So I'm kind of flippant, yeah. I'm I'm pretty flippant because it's so upside down, inside out ski. But it, you know, I I guess the point I was trying to make with the the whole um, firefighter situation, the hostage situation with firefighters is I'm sure they came into a house, and they saw a guy's gun cabinet, and they all started hyperventilating. Oh my God, he's got a gun! Everybody's so thinking brainwashed at this point to think that just because there's a gun in the room, nobody's safe. Everybody needs to panic. Why don't everybody just lay down on the floor and 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 convulse until the uh, the gun uh, unlocks itself from the gun case, uh, loads itself full of ammunition, and then starts pulling its you know pull it, pulling in its own trigger and firing randomly until people one by one get shot full of holes and, and bleed out, you know, I mean, that, that, how sick is that, that people are so mind warped, they can't even be in the room with some, you know, with, with a firearm without hyperventilating or acting like, uh, you know, the, the whole world's about to crumble, oh my god, there's a firearm, it's just, it's just a me automatic, oh, did you get that one from the TV? pulled out a revolver, they probably call it a semi-automatic. Oh, look, it's a semi-automatic! It's a revolver, fool. Somebody, somebody actually took the time to explain, look, it's a bolt action. What does that mean? What does that even mean, a bolt action? You see this? This is a bolt. You pull it back, you put in the round, you slide it forward, bolt. It's a bolt, bolt action. That's a bolt. How does it look like a bolt? It's like you can't put a nut on it. Yeah. Anyway, yes, I'm in a very flippant mood today because I just. What do you do? I mean, seems like, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to be the most informed guy in the room on any conversation and I don't like this this is not a very comfortable place to be anyway I guess that's all I got to say I'm, uh, otherwise I'm just going to get stupid like I, like I have been for the last 8 or 9 minutes